everybody. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name's Anna Epiphany and this week we are in Hoosier National Forest. Let's get this day started. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-uh, come here, Rug. Oh, no, you gotta go under in this. <laughs> you tried. Hold on, hold on, baby. No, you tried. It's gonna get too confusing now. Hold on. Stay there. Okay, Rug, jump. Jump over. Good girl. Oh, wait for me! Wait for me. Wait for me. <laughs> Over here, sir. This way, girls. Over here. We stay on this path. everybody I'm doing a mask um <laughs> uh, it's raining now got the girls for a nice walk with my skylight I'm having to stand right underneath of it because uh, the, it's dark in the best right now all the windows are covered to help keep the temperature a little bit better in here so one of my friends is supposed to be coming by today and we were going to do a fire tonight but I'm concerned it might still be raining when they get here, so we're just going to wing it. Um, if we can't do a fire tonight, we'll just do it another night. Um, I got this nice spot over here and I can stay up to two weeks, so I'm going to do at least a week here and then see, uh, see what I want to do after that. I'm not sure. Um, I want to do a few tattoos to try to make a little bit of money if I can while I'm in the area. So if all goes well, then I might stay a little bit longer. here uh, so I'm editing this video and um, I'll explain why but I had issues charging my devices so I only recorded a few things not as much as I normally would uh, because I was trying to conserve power uh, but yeah it got really cold after that fire and it actually ended up snowing the next morning so you're about to see that and then uh, a clip after that you're gonna know I'm gonna show you what the inside of the windows look like after using propane heat for two nights in a row Back to the video. <laughs> 
so the reason why I was watching my power, right? The MPPT um, is not reading correctly, and that made me nervous. I didn't want to use too much of my battery power and have those end up going bad. Um, the MPPT started acting up as far as the percentage readings um, after I had installed the 800 watts of solar on there and I used the fuse that they gave me in the kit which turned out was it was a 15 amp fuse and it should have been a higher amp than that uh, according to what they told me on the phone when I called so that was a mistake but that mistake um, I'm guessing because it was right after that ended up causing the uh, percentage to read it correctly on the battery readout on the MPPT. Luckily, I, I now have figured out that uh, what the voltage to percentage rate is, and I might put a I'll put it up here somewhere so that if you ever have any issues with your MPPT, you can check your battery voltage with a multimeter, and the voltage to percentage will be here for you, so you can use that if you need to just to double check your batteries and make sure they're not running too low. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm talking to Renergy right now about trying to figure out a way to fix this. I live here all the time in this bus, so I need heat. It's really cold right now, and that's my only form of power. So um, they were trying to say that I should mail it back in so they can look at it and everything, and that might take seven to ten days. But I emailed them back and said, you know, it's winter and I'm living in it right now. I mean, it is bringing in power. It's just not reading the current, uh, the correct percentage. So I'm waiting to hear back on if there's another way we can do this or I don't know. But like a bird this, on a you know, being able to check the voltage to percentage rate is helping a lot. I'm and I'm able to use my diesel me. heater now a lot more comfortably because I know where the batteries are. I, got I tend to ramble on, but I'm going to get off here and we're going to finish this video. Okay. Thanks so much. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We're meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free We are leaving Bloomington, Indiana from the Hoosier National Forest and heading south to Seymour first and then to Louisville, Kentucky from there. Um, that is mainly because the weather is getting horrible. Bloomington, there's a huge cold front coming in with snow, sleet and everything and Bloomington's supposed to get one to two feet of snow. Um, Seymour, I think, is getting mostly sleet. But if I go a little bit more south to Louisville, Kentucky, some sleet and freezing rain, but a lot less than two feet of snow. So that's what we're doing. 